Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Hey, look at this little message peeping out there. It says, start doing things you love. <laughs> Anyways, hello. Um, today we're gonna do a little flip through of this journal. This is for Christy. This was a pre-order journal. I have um, a couple pre-order journal spots on my website and I've mentioned before that basically a pre-order journal is if you purchase it, you basically have dibs on the next journal that I create. I am currently actually about halfway through with this one right here. And they are oh, the descriptions on the listing, but it's basically my style with a super decorated, fully handmade journal with a tassel. And if you have um, requests for a certain color or things that you do or don't like, you can also email me with those requests as well. It doesn't always have to be just the next journal that I'm working on, but for instance, let's say you purchased my pre-order journal and I am just finishing this one up, this would be the one that I send you. But again, if you have requests for something specific, you can email me before purchasing and I shall be able to, you know, accommodate those if they're within my style. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So she, for this one, she didn't have any specific request. And so I got to just have fun and put my, my love into it. And so I love this fabric and it's so soft. I can't wait till she feels it. And I thought it would be pretty with some lace. It has five signatures and then this tassel has some different beads and little dangles and charms and lots of pretty colors. It has this little frame charm as well. So this will look so pretty on a bookshelf. And these journals are five to six signatures around 75 pages. And again, they're like fully decorated. So I know a lot of times when I have junk journal uh, like collection releases there's just a lot of people that are like oh no I wasn't able to get my hands on one and so this is just a way for you to be able to get one a little bit easier so when we open it up here we have this fun little pocket I did um, an Edith Holden pocket with a um, words are not coming to me a little vellum pocket so I love that that's see-through so you could take this out and you can still see the pretty image there, but great spot for a little tag. And then I put a label here if she wants to put her name or, you know, the month or date that she's using this journal. I think that would be a cute spot. And then in this pocket, I just put a little seed packet and I inked this up and put some little stickers there. And then this tag, I put a little key charm and I did some stenciling and stamping on that. Now, since there's so much going on here, I did actually keep this blank. I was gonna put something here. I might still like attach or clip something, but I really liked, this is a vintage wallpaper and I just loved how it looked with everything. So I actually wanted to keep that blank. And then maybe if there's something that she wants to put on the front page, she can. I love, I love front pages so much. I put a lot of thought into them. So, okay, yeah, let's go through and we have an envelope and I sewed on some lace. There's a ton of lace and sewing in this journal. Um, I put a vintage book page in there so she can use however she wants. I used a lot of printables from Kara Brandon. So these are like collage little papers and I put a stenciled time card in this big pocket here. So a lot of these pages, like I just don't want to cover them up. So you'll, you'll see that a lot of times I put, I just sew lace so that you can still see them. So we have a double pocket over here with some tags, a pocket with lace. And then I sewed on this really gorgeous um, iridescent applique. And I love how it kind of peeks out as a tab as well. Put a couple things in the pocket. We have a little glassine bag. I put a couple of things in there. I sewed on some leaf trim on this big long tag. It's blank on the back, so you could do a bunch of journaling or whatever. Um, a really pretty book page, and you can't really probably see in the screen, but I put a see-through like wildflower sticker just to add a little something extra and give the page a little start 
to decorating. I love, I love these book pages so much. Um, we have an envelope in the center. I did glue it shut, but you have the access at the top. And so I put some wallpaper in there. We have a clear pocket here, so you can still see the book page, but I went ahead and put a tag. You could put something underneath this lace, kind of tuck it in if you wanted, but I kept that blank. We have a nice big pocket with more lace here and really pretty paper. Um, this is a die cut and I sewed on vellum behind it. I think I actually got that recommendation from someone. And then so I just put a little journaling card, but I love how that turned out, super fun. And then there's some lace sewed on. Again, we got that collage paper and over here you can see how I tuck something underneath um, for that. And the second signature now, so we have some vellum with lace a little pocket and I just clipped this on so she can take it off and remove it because again I just don't want to this paper is just too pretty to actually like cover up um, but I put a tag with a little leaf charm and this is just a little book page pocket and I put some, a little piece of Edith Holden paper there so you can just tuck that in like that we have a nice big side pocket and I put some Edith Holden paper she could use that however she wants. Such a pretty page. I'll have to tuck that in a little better. Um, and then over here, we have a really pretty um, flip of some really pretty dainty lace. And then I put just a piece of notebook paper, pretty notebook paper, and you can do journaling or you could take it off because I did just put washi tape on to hold that there. I put one of these cute little window um, envelopes just clipped that on um, we have an envelope here in the center and a lot of times I close these shut but this was so pretty on the inside that I actually just wanted to keep it open and she can decide how she wants to use that I have a little fabric tab with a little rose charm this is a fun little page it's a vellum page but it has like a little slit and then I have a really long tag that you can pull out, pull in. We have another nice big side pocket and I punched the edges there. Sewed on some leaf trim. And I think this actually, yeah, this, this whole page is a pocket. A lot of the printables, I'll sew them together so you can actually put something down in the full pocket if you wanted. Some pretty handmade paper. I always forget what this is called. Mulberry paper, I believe. Um, we have a nice pocket here with some lace and a little snippet sewed on. I did some stenciling. Just put a postcard in there. So I do lots of little detailed touches in these uh, pre-order journal journals. Like I said, they're fully decorated. We have a little snippet sewn on over here and I just put a nice piece of handmade paper. These are so pretty. We have a little um, pocket here and this is also a glassine bag and there I put a little I don't, I'm at a weird angle. I can't get in there. I put a little piece of, um, what is it? There we go. I put this in there. Vellum paper. That's the word I was looking for, vellum. Nice book page, and I sewed on lace, and so you can either see the page or you could put something in the pocket, but I love these vintage botanical pages so much. Oops. Here's the other side of that. Some more beautiful printables. Look at this, it's so pretty. But you do, you can um, use this as a pocket if you want because the top is open. And over here, I just made a little half page pocket. I put a little snippet here and sewed around the Edith Holden paper. Glassine bag, 
little pocket there. This is kind of fun. This is, it kind of looks like a little, um, I can't think of, clipboard. It looks like a little clipboard. It has this little tag here. And then I just added a little piece of vellum, but you could do so much. And I just clipped it on so she can move it around or take it out. It is on a really thick board. So you could do a lot of fun things with this. Oops, keep that over there. We have another big pocket with some stenciling and stamping. And then I did some decorative stitching along the edge here with a little tab. Next signature, I put a vellum pocket on here again. I don't want to cover the pretty paper, but I do want, I wanted this to be very interactive. So here's another one of these really pretty envelopes. And so I just tucked that in like so. Oh, there's a blue bird outside. It, it just flew out of nowhere, caught my attention. Um, I clipped on a little glassing bag here on this like ledger paper. We have some French doors and I put a pocket on the inside, but lots of space to do whatever you wanted with. And then you also have a pocket behind it. Vintage botanical paper with some really cool lace. And then there's a lace pocket and I did some stamping on a tag, added some writing paper, a little tuck spot on this side, and I did some stenciling behind it as well. Really pretty lace. And we have another one of these die cut side pockets and I just tucked in a tag on this side. And I love using different um, sizes of paper. Okay, next signature. And so I put some of this beautiful writing paper and I sewed on some leaf trim, but you can still do journaling or add like a little picture or something like that. I added one of these seed packets on the back and then nice space for any kind of journaling that you wanna do there or that she wants to do since this is already hers. Some pretty scrapbook paper again. I just put some lined paper in this pocket. Edith Holden paper with some sewed on lace. And then over here, I made a little side pocket. I added on a little snippet and let's see, I forget. Yeah, it's just a little side pocket. So then you have a side pocket with the printable here. And I just put a little envelope in there. But again, like, I, oh, I just love it. I just love it. It's so pretty, this paper is. And then here's another envelope in here. Lots of envelopes. I, I love using envelopes in all of my journaling here. Say we have Edith Holden paper and I sewed on a piece of vellum. It's actually lined. So you could do some journaling if you wanted. And that flips up like that. And then in this pocket, I made a little vellum sewn envelope. Put a little journaling card in there. It just tucks in there. The other side of this writing paper and I just sewed on a little tab and a little sticker and that's it. So I hope she loves this. I put so much love into it and it was so much fun to create and that's it for today's video guys. I hope that you guys have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye guys.